Provo Beast here doing a follow-up video, part two of this Pontiac G6. Today, as promised in the previous video, as you can see the link, which I'll post here for that video, today we're gonna do the steering wheel controls that we were unable to do last time just because the previous radio in this Pontiac only supported that previous radio. We've ordered today an ASWC1 steering wheel control module. We'll show you how to take this apart. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to take the dash apart because, because you can see my first video. That first video will show you how to disassemble the under dash here, which all has to come out so we can get around to it. I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, without you seeing it because you can refer to that at another time. Okay, so we've gotten the dash all apart. Like I said, check out the other video to see how I got to this point. Got the radio out. I haven't totally unplugged it just because we're gonna have to do a little bit of a test. Okay, so as we have everything here, um, in the last video, you kinda saw me prep for it. Here it is, right here. So power and ground lead. So this is just tied into the red wire. As it's tied in the black wire. Remember on the ASWC1, you can check out that unboxing. It has a red wire and a black wire which provides power to the steering wheel control module. All right, so power and ground. I just tapped into the main red one as you can kind of see there. See it's doubled up on one side. Same thing with the ground. So use some butt connectors. Everything's nice and insulated. So this is the harness, the ASWC1. Here's the module that'll just plug in. Now, we're gonna look at our wiring instructions. Shows you the pinning layout. So you know what pin in the harness goes to what color wire. Um, and then we'll go to our secondary manual and the kit comes with two manuals. Second one is the vehicle specific identifier. So we need, wire, we need two wires from the ASWC one in addition to the power and ground. As you can see on the G6 we need pin number three, which is orange and green, that guy there. And then we'll need uh, pin number two to be tied to ground, which is the white and green. So on the ASWC1, here's the white and green. It needs to be grounded, so I tied it into the ground, as you can see there. And then pin number three, which is the orange and green, needs to be tied into that solid blue wire, which I have. So. That kind of looks confusing, so again, one more time. This is the main power to the ASWC1. This is the ground to the ASWC1. And the white and green one needs to be grounded too, according to our instructions. And the orange and green needs to be tied in that solid blue wire, which it is. Disregard the green there, but it's all connected to that solid blue. Now, special instructions, way to the right here. So we're a G6, all the way to the right. The, uh, the white and black, number 14, needs to be grounded. So I found that on this on the other harness. Here's the white and black wire. I'm sorry, it doesn't need to be grounded. It needs to be, it says it needs to be connected. It needs to be connected to 12 volt accessory. So when the key is on, it needs to have power. So I tied that also into the, the power as well. Um, all these other wires we're just going to tape off, we don't need. So the next step here is we're going to plug this guy into the wired remote. Okay, that's in. Next thing here, we're going to go through the programming steps. Now it, it does require, when we turn it on, get it all formatted, that we hold volume up. So that's what we'll do. Now it may take a couple tries. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, programmed by holding volume up to see how it goes. Okay, I'm holding volume up. It's going through a series of flashes. Okay, so being that solid red on the unit here, movie's playing. That's it. Now a lot of the time if you program this and it goes, it keeps blinking consistently. It's an indication that there is an error with the, the programming, so you may want to start again. So again, when I plugged it in, I uh, just held the volume up, went through the series of programming flashes, and there you go. Everything works here. So what we're gonna do is button everything back up, 
that's how you program steering wheel controls here. Uh, we'll make sure we tape these wires off here. And again, if you have any questions on how I program this, this is uh, in addition to uh, my previous video of how to actually install the unit itself. So we're gonna tuck everything back here in the dash. Um, everything's wired and good to go. All right, so dash is all back together. Looks pretty nice and clean. In my first video, I did this uh, cigarette lighter replacement to a oxen USB for the radio, which is pretty cool. So, sure enough, we're good to go. Like I said before, any questions about this install, just post a comment below. I'm happy to get back to you. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll try to keep getting videos up for you. This was steering wheel controls on a 2009 Pontiac G6.